Good morning and welcome to week number 13. That's right, we are here. Week number 13 for the Marathon Training Plan 2020 and today is run number 61. 61 runs. It's just, it's kind of just hit me that we have been smashing it out for, well, for 13 weeks now and we're getting into the big numbers. It's it's been a journey. It's been such a journey and we're not done yet. Let's let's not get onto that high horse and think it's all done. We've still got a lot of work to done, a, a lot of work to do and today things are starting to get different, right? So we are kicking off with a speed run today. Um, now usually we were doing tempos but now it's changing. This is where the plan hasn't adapted, it's just changed. This is part of the plan that we're doing seven times 1Ks or seven times 1,000 meters at a 5.43 pace and also with a three minute rest. Now, what I'm probably gonna do with a three minute rest is I'm probably gonna keep moving. I'm not gonna just stand still. I wanna keep moving, keep the legs fresh and uh, then keep moving and grooving. I've gotta be mindful that I've only got one hour to do this. So I'll probably end up having to do some of it in the, in the fun repeat section. Um, let's see how we go. I might have to cut some of the three minute rest a little short just to make sure I get back in time. Feeling good today. Uh, these are the shoes I'm wearing. I'm gonna be using my speed shoes. Hopefully it does some justice. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Week 13, just crazy. Just crazy, it's gone so, so quick. I'm excited to see what this week has to bring because we start to do a few different things as mentioned already. Uh, it is cold, it's about six degrees right now, so I'm keen to get moving. I've just done a bit of a, a warm up and a, and a stretch and whatnot, so hopefully this will be able to get me moving and grooving. Hope you're all doing well. Appreciate you being here. And uh, well, it's time we kick off and get this done. Going a bit too fast. Much better pace. That's seven, baby. Then before we wrap up, I'm gonna get home and then smash it out. Whoo! All right, done and dusted. And I'm gonna have to be quick because my battery is about to die. So seven times 1,000 meters, and I think I've probably done around a maybe a 509 pace. I haven't looked. I haven't looked. That's what I'm guessing. I did probably way too fast than I should have been, but at the same time, the start of it, I was feeling good. When I felt like I was pushing too hard, I, I knuckled down and, sorry, I didn't knuckle down. I, I pulled down a gear and uh, you'll see that in a minute when we go through the stats. Feeling good. I think I've once again surprised myself um, doing this kind of workout two days after doing the, the 27 and a half K. So, <laughs> Your boy still got it. All right, let's jump straight into the stats and uh, let's go, go, go. Feeling good, guys. Feeling really good. For some reason, it's not letting me add it to my um, to my Nike plan, which is a bit weird. Well, that average 5:17. So not as not as actual fast as I thought, but 5:24, 5:13, 5:11, 5:24, 5:18, 5:20. And then 517 as the average so done some wonders right there overall coming around a 640 pace which isn't too bad um, have a quick look at this yeah interesting interesting stuff right here 
that final K was epic. And then I did a bit of a, <laughs> a cool down at the end. Ah, look at this performance condition plus five. Jeepers, that's amazing. Heart rate, yeah, makes sense. But this was this was a good workout. I'm feeling solid. All right, happy with that. Um, look, one thing I just wanted to kind of say to everyone was that, well, one, thank you. <laughs> and I continue to thank you and, and it's, <laughs> I can say that, but I feel like it's never enough. So I do appreciate all the support. But one thing that I want people to think about is, so at the moment we're in lockdown, right? And everyone's in different situations, but it hadn't really hit me that, you know, I mean, I guess what I'm trying to really show on these, on this series, on this, um, you know, as I progress through the marathon training is, is what it's like training for a marathon, right? And the realities of it. Now, at the same time, obviously I didn't plan that I was gonna be in lockdown. So I just want you to have a think about it. if you've trained for a marathon before or training for a marathon, imagine doing it in some of the confined restrictions that I have, like doing those repeats, you know, uh, 45, 300, 400 meter repeats to get my distance. That's, it's, it's quite, I was having a discussion with Brad from My BS Life and we got into it that, you know, it, it is quite, quite a big deal and there is a chance that there could be some of this, I guess, excitement uh, in terms of doing sprints and repeats and um, all those things for the actual marathon itself. If things don't get better, now they are getting better, but there is a chance and I'm okay with that mentality at this point, but I just wanted to kind of get a get a you know um i guess an indication from anyone else if they've experienced this if they're having to do something extreme or really really adapt their plan in order to get their the mileage or their kilometers or volumes in so curious to know <sighs> feeling good feeling positive feeling strong <sighs> it's a good day all right i need to run actually i need to i need to go i've just done the run and uh head off but I really do appreciate you being here actually jump down into the timestamps there's a buffet of information something for everyone hopefully uh, let me know what you think leave a comment below and uh, you know if you haven't subscribed and you're first time being here make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell really do appreciate it otherwise I'll see you when I'm looking at you ciao good morning and welcome to run number 62 for the marathon training plan 2020 and today is an endurance run we are doing we are doing 12k at a 639 pace I'm actually for some reason I thought I was doing 11 and then I thought it was 11.5 and then I checked it this morning and it's 12k so which which is fine um so 12k this morning should be pretty crazy um I mean I've gotten out a little bit earlier just to make sure that I've got a bit more extra buffer time before I have to work I was up early today and I got up at quarter to six which isn't super early but um usually I was getting up around five but making the most of the extra sleep for the recovery at the moment um, but I was up early today just <laughs> trying to get some of my video editing done and dusted but question for you guys are you early birds or are you night owls let me know in the comments below <sighs> oh, all right it's a bit nippy it's about six degrees but it looks like it's gonna clear up it should be okay feeling not too bad but I think I just need to be you know super mindful of this run it is a bit longer the last couple of weeks have been up to about 10k or so a um, little further, I think last week was 11, I can't remember, it's all a bit of a blur. So I will end up doing 9.5k, 10k out as my hour loop, and then uh, I've got to do the rest of it in the repeat section, so <sighs> some things never change, eh? Alright, let's get on out there, let's get it happening, hope you're all doing well, and uh, let's go! Here we go, time for repeat.
Oh. Whew. 12k done and dusted and it was an epic run time wise took my time just getting back to it and I think I've probably done around a 626 so way above target but I started off slow I started off just cruising and then to be honest the rest of it's a bit of a bit of a trance bit of a glide and that's what I love it actually feels like the weekend it actually feels like the weekend because this is the kind of run I'm usually doing on a Saturday morning you know just detoxing but I'm definitely uh, I'm feeling mentally good today and a few other things it's you know when we when we talk about also when I've been talking about some of the complaints I've been having you know whether it's myself or just frustrations or busy days and, and things like that you know and I've mentioned this already it's first thing is I am responsible for taking actions to in, to ensure that I can do things better that I can um, you know put in boundaries that I can communicate better and all those things so I've been doing a lot of self-awareness check and you know digging deep inside and internally to make sure that I'm doing everything in my power of everything that I can control to do to do better whether it's to, uh, to manage my mental capacity to manage my stress to manage my day-to-day -to, -day, to manage my routines all that jazz number one if you have issues do you do yourself a favor and check yourself before you wreck yourself because if you don't check in internally first how can you start pointing the finger and probing and and making excuses that I can't do this because of that well it all comes down to you first so I've been doing that and I've achieved quite a lot in the in the past week actually two weeks um, just identifying some better ways of working better ways of doing things and being able to offset some of those overheads and overwhelming moments but don't get me wrong <laughs> still a long way to go but uh, small wins and I think it's clear today that you know I'm feeling positive I'm feeling mentally fresh and uh, let's see how long it lasts eh? second thing oh, no numb feet did 12k no problemo these using my trail running shoes I, I mentioned I mean I didn't mention them at the start of the run but oh gee all good so ah, it's a it's a good morning it's sunny it's beautiful it's uh it's good stuff as I keep saying there's gonna be good days bad days positive days negative days and it comes down to you taking the the attitude approach and looking forward looking upwards seeing what you can control because if you can't control things it's out of your control right it's more about how you manage it how you react to it how do you <laughs> put the mindset to it <sighs> all right let's get into the stats wow look at all these mozzies jeeps <coughs> all right there it is beautiful stuff 12k yep pretty good 625 pace epic oh so good pretty cruisy and a nice heart rate as well let's jump over to the Garmin look I think I'm not really gonna have much to really say about this run but it was it was a good run and oh goodness I am so sorry these mozzies are so bad um, it's I continue to show up daily and just get it done Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Nice cadence, pretty consistent the whole way through. Um, performance condition. Okay. Okay, plus ones a few times. Heart rate as well. Epic. Jeepers. All right, I need, I, need to, I need to hurry up. So, very solid run, and I think I've been, I've been almost finished the, um, the four-hour work week, and I'll be starting a new book later this week, but... It's just been great to be able to listen just really see and i think that's the passive growth here is because i'm listening to stuff which is enabling me to think about how i can do things better how i can apply myself better how i can think about things differently it's making a huge huge difference in my day-to-day -day. um and it's these short-term little wins that we do on a day-to-day -day basis whether it's you know changing this fixing that micro habits whatever it is doing them over long periods of time is what's going to get you the big the big wins so that's my advice today is focus on the little things focus on the things you can control get it in check get it in routine 
and then double down and let it ride. Whew. All right, good stuff. Appreciate you being here. Make sure you jump down into the timestamps, have a look around. There is a buffet of information, something here for everyone. And as well, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, um, hit that notification bell, give us a like, whatever you want to do. However, <laughs> we're not finished yet. So tomorrow we are doing sprints. So jump on around over to that and I'll see you when I'm looking at you. Good morning and welcome to run number 63 for the marathon training plan 2020. And today, is another speed session. We are doing sprints. It is windy, it is cold, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So we are doing 6.400 meters at a five nine pace. Uh, so finally, I'm allowed to let loose a little bit. Well, I have justification for me letting loose. Uh, so I'll be aiming to do around that five, 5.15 pace. Um, I don't really wanna overdo it just because I am getting the heavier loads and uh, you know, I'm just trying to be mindful as well. But, We'll see how we go. I'll probably end up going faster than expected, but once again, I don't want to be pushing, pushing, pushing. I just want to be feeling comfortable. Oh, it's cold. All right, the good news is, uh, <laughs> actually, this has got nothing to do with running, is we, we finally got our coffee machine. Um, one broke the other the other week. I had to pick up another another new one off Amazon. Quite a, quite a good buy, actually, with, with the cash rewards and the cash back and it was on discount. I think we paid about 53 bucks for a 12 cup um, brewer. So yeah, good stuff. <laughs> These are the shoes I'm wearing today. Hopefully they'll help with the speed. Um, other than that, I mean, look, I'm pretty, pretty keen for this run. Just want to get out, get it done. It's quarter past seven in the morning. It is Thursday today. It's almost the weekend. Uh, feeling good though. It's been, a, it's been a good week. It's been definitely a positive week as I keep mentioning that I've, I've taken some actions to make sure I can double down on ensuring things are on the up and up. So let's see how long it lasts, eh? All right, it is cold. I'm gonna be using the Garmin, of course, to track the workout. Um, let's get this happening. I'm gonna get the tunes on, get the music happening as well. It's all, it's all happening. That's a lot of happenings. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Number one, way too fast. Actually, not too bad. Ah, number two, not too bad. So funny story is I, uh, I put my recovery time as not a minute 30, but as an hour 30. So I'm having to manually do it. Oops, all right, let's go. Halfway. Doing around a four. Uh, I think it's a 456 around there somewhere. Woohoo! Halfway. Let's get ready. Almost done it done. Alright, four done. Two more to go. Woo. A little bit slower, probably around a 459 somewhere there. I have no idea. Number five. One more to go. There we go, done and dusted. I think that final one was probably, <laughs> number six was probably the fastest. Maybe, maybe, could be wrong. <sighs> Feeling pretty good, didn't didn't really blow it out. Just uh, definitely done <laughs> probably around an average of 4.58, somewhere there maybe. Um, <laughs> a little annoyed about the, uh, the time, cool down timer, I uh, stuffed that up so it just meant they're going to be a little inaccurate. Some I think were a minute, some were a minute 20, some were a minute 30. I don't know. It was, um, it, it wasn't actually an hour and 30. I, for some reason, I must have slipped when I did it. It was sitting at rest time of one hour and 45 minutes or something. So was, no, one hour and 30, yeah, one hour and 30 minutes and 45 seconds. So it kind of, anyway, it's all good. We're done and dusted now. feel pretty good. Um, I'm feeling a bit, a bit heavy in the tops of my legs um, in my in my quads and, and, and 
not really the thighs yet, probably just more the quads. But that's okay, I think that's expected. And, and, and I didn't want to overdo it, as I said, because, you know, I am <laughs> pushing myself and, you know, over, overall I've been pushing myself, right? So it's starting to compound for the better, but it could also compound for the worse. So just being super mindful of that. It's a bit windy. It's, uh, so I do apologize for all the background noise. Let's get into the stats. Let's have a look and see how we went. Uh, I mean, this was a quick run. I, I don't mind doing some of these runs when they're, you know, not as not as rush, 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 or I guess maybe the better word is not as um, time consuming, just because you get a you get a moment to breathe and just a moment to kind of rest a bit as well. And tomorrow is rest day, so um, as much as I enjoy running and love running, sometimes the rest days are nice too, just to you know, bring yourself back into that rest and recovery mode. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Once again, lots of mozzies. All right, so done and dusted. Let's check the Nike. Of course, the Nike is not gonna give me the result just because that's just going to house it. So let's chuck it in there. For some reason, it's done that sinking thing again where it doesn't let me add it to something. So I'll do that later. It just seems to be a glitch with it but I've done about 2.9 kilometers. Let's jump over here. All right, so. This is where it gets interesting. Jump over to the run. Oh yeah, 4, 4.56. Not too bad, so we did 4.52, 4.53, 4.57, 5.01, 4.49 and 5.41. So yeah, my last one was my, I oh know it wasn't, my second last one was my best one. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's, um, <laughs> uh, you never know how you're gonna go with these things, to be honest. There we go. Pretty consistent, pretty consistent. You can see a few breaks, ups and downs. And it's, this is where it gets very interesting, some of these stats and elevation wise, right? So I was actually going uphill on the way back. So that's interesting. Heart rate. Yeah, pretty consistent as well. That's interesting. Cadence. Yeah, okay, so I didn't really max out my cadence, um, which is interesting because it probably means that I wasn't, yeah, okay. I think this is one thing I've been, some of the footage that I've been revisiting, I've been noticing some of my, I guess, one of my legs flick out and it's, it's not too good, but I notice after I've done probably a K or two, it, it comes good. So it's, it's just poor form at the start. So I'm just trying to be mindful of that too. All right, well, I'm, I'm happy with this. So look, all in all, this was a pretty, pretty solid run. Nothing over the top, nothing too exciting, but just getting it done. Um, and that's what it's all about is getting it done. So happy with that. I don't, I don't really have too much to say actually today because I just, I just kind of want to keep the brain space. I'm still in editing mode at the moment just to finish week 12. It's funny that I'm almost finished week 13, but I haven't even released week 12 yet. So it's all, it's a bit bizarre to be honest. But uh, one thing I wanted to just kind of mention was we'll be picking up a new audio book later this week. So I'll be finishing the, the four hour work week on, on Saturday. So excited to do that, but then I'll be picking up something else and, and getting through it. And I think this is probably actually one thing that I do want to mention about is you know with, with everything that's going on is I want to keep to I want to keep encouraging everyone to to find some of the small positives some of the small wins and some of the things which are are really um, they are silver linings or little things which we've been able to I guess learn about ourselves or apply or learn a new skill or uh, a new habit or whatever it may be is identify some of these things that you've been able to do in these troubling times and you know give yourself a pat on the back so for me it's been you know reading a lot more or listening in this case and i think after this it will be my sixth book right and you know i don't even think i've read six books in my entire life i mean you know maybe through high school and stuff but as a personal growth thing i've never done it so to me that's a the only reason i'm doing it while running now is because i have more time to run because I'm at home more. So that's a quick win for me. I think the other thing is I've just learned so much about, you know, priorities and, and things that are important to me, a bit of self-awareness. Um, other things have included, you know, being able to run more and I'm saving a lot. I think a lot of people could be saving a lot if, if you know, if depending on your circumstance, but 
you know, just trying to look at some of the different elements and the different, I guess, perspectives or point of views of how this has had its positives. And there is some things to really just make sure you do focus on those positive items because otherwise you're just going to be overwhelmed with the negativity and all the craziness that's happening. So that's, that's my word of advice for today. Appreciate you being here. Uh, <laughs> Once again, um, jump around into the timestamps. There is a buffet of information, something here for everyone. Hopefully some value for, for you. If you're new here, jump down, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Really do appreciate it in advance. If you have a comment, if you have a question, if you have something you would like to say, chuck it down there below. Otherwise, I will see you when I'm looking at you. Ciao. Good morning and welcome to run number 64 for the Marathon Training Plan 2020 and today we are doing an endurance run. We are doing 10k at a 6.39 pace and it is an absolutely stunner of a morning. <clears throat> Saturday morning, it's beautiful, it's about 10 degrees at the moment so it's probably one of the more warmer mornings that we've had and it's a bit of a hint of spring. You can see some sun down there, there's a bit of sun over there, over there, it's all happening, it is all happening. I am excited for this and the reason why is because, well one, it's the usual Saturday cruise run <clears throat> and two, this weather is a hint of spring, it's a hint of summer, it's a hint of those glorious sunrise mornings. So this should be pretty good, hoping to get some nice nice morning shots but you know we're not out here to get morning shots we're out here to get this done we're out here to do 10k these are the shoes i'm wearing today trail running shoes probably get out on the sand a bit hopefully go on the beach and uh yeah wow feeling good the weeks the weeks ended pretty strong so i'm talking about mentally and, and whatnot so it, it, it's pretty good and i'm keen to get out on this run i'll be finishing my four hour work week book today and then i'll probably be starting a new one tomorrow i'll probably just finish the rest of the run off with some music just chill just cruise ah this weather is great i love the being able to smell the air the freshness and there's life and lushness everywhere so it's good stuff <laughs> oh this should be good let's go That's what I'm talking about. 10k done and dusted, and that that run was just perfect. It was epic. It was exactly what I needed. Now, the reason why I'm so happy is it's not like it's a record or anything like that. But I took off, you know, just for a cruise as normal, and I got to about halfway. And I'm like, okay, let's start to strategize. Let's start to test out doing the remainder of this at marathon pace, or getting back up to marathon pace. Now, what I mean between that is my marathon pace has to be an average of six i think it's 616 somewhere there in order to get to the goal that i'm looking for now what i've been planning to do is over the coming weeks and in the longer runs as well is trying to do the last i guess if you think about it uh eh, yeah probably the last 50 percent 40 percent at marathon pace or when I say marathon pace, meaning doing it at the average of 6.16 or doing the remainder to get me back up to an average of marathon pace. Now, that's what I did today. So I think I've come in around a 6, probably a 6.11 pace overall for the 10K. But for the final 5K, I was doing, you know, 5, um, 5.59, 6.06, 6.02, whatever. And we'll get into that in a minute. And what's interesting is... I didn't feel like it was 
hard effort. I didn't feel like it was hard work to get done. So that's what I'm, oh gosh, I've got hair hanging out everywhere. That's what I'm happy with because this speed training, this whole plan is starting to pay off. Now, I don't want to get over <laughs> overconfident either, but I'm just noticing a few things which things are starting to compound for the better. And I've been saying this over the last few weeks as well, but I really did notice it today because I increased my pace and you'll see it soon. It was a cruise run, it was a glide, it was exactly what I wanted. Now the weather, the mental state, my attitude, all that has a huge factor to play. And I am, I'm not tired, I'm well rested, beautiful weather, and this big smile, it, it makes a difference. So let's get into the stats, let's get into the details, let's see how we've got, and uh, yes. All right. There we go, 10k. What 610? Oh my gosh, I've done a lot. I mean it's not even fast, but it's just it's just cool to be knowing that my body is able to do a little bit more when I'm not necessarily having to put in a lot of effort, right? And if I this is this is really good stuff. I'm I'm very happy with this. Alright. Okay, so let's Let's have a look on the um, on the Nike first. See what it's got to say. And these mozzies are getting bad again. This is the only problem with this weather. When you stop, mate, it's like they're basically going to pick me up and fly away. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh gosh. All right, I got to keep moving. All right. Um, so 610 pace. This is epic. Let's have a look. Look at that. You can see that climbing the whole way up. Heart rate. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Elevation wasn't too bad as well. Um, wow. Jesus. And if we just we jump back over here, I'm getting eaten alive. <laughs> really do apologize. Um, let's uh more details. This doesn't really tell us well, so I, I think we'll jump over to the garment. We'll jump over to the garment. Keen to see it there. Oh, it hasn't even popped up here yet. What's going on? Yeah, there we go. 10k. Best pace. All right, here we go. So, look at that. So we're halfway at about yeah about 30 mark. You can see I've, I've really stepped it up. Now it wasn't progressively up, but I've averaged up. That's for sure. Um, heart rate as well going up cadence look that's interesting um started off with a stronger cadence even though i was going slower so that's that's interesting usually i do a better cadence when i'm going a bit faster so that's okay temperature doesn't matter performance so this is interesting it says my performance condition was actually under baseline but i felt so much better so that's i don't know how that works to be honest uh this is but you know, it's told me that it's it's improved my lactate threshold, so that's good. I am super happy with that. Now tomorrow we have, I think it's 23 and a half k, so that that will be interesting to see after doing this a bit faster, 6.10 pace, which is pretty good, really. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I've just finished the uh, four-hour work week, and uh, I won't be doing a review on it this week. That will come next week, so I'll I'll jump into you know some of the takeaways from that, but. This book, there is, if you if you haven't read it, you really need to jump on, jump in over and have a look at it. It's, um, it's really about changing your mind shift, or I guess changing your mindset around how you work, how you can do more with less, and how you can remove yourself from being a bottleneck. Now, that in itself is quite very high level because the idea is that, I mean, yes, it's talking about a four hour work week. It's not meaning you do your week of work in four hours it's more talking about how you can create something for yourself live from that and do very little to maintain a lifestyle income right now lifestyle income <coughs> doesn't mean you're earning a million dollars a year right it means you have money coming in flowing through but you have more time and you have the happiness to do stuff right now this <laughs> Anyway, we'll get into that next week. If you haven't read it, go check it out. Otherwise, you will hear, you will hear all about that next week. Um, 
kind of what I just wanted to mention today was I just wanted to continue to say thank you and appreciate all the support, uh, the usual stuff, you know, and it's, it's been really good. And I am now starting to get into thinking and planning mode of what the marathon is going to look like. And, you know, I, there's still a very high chance that I will be doing it around this area. Um, so I'm just starting to think about that while I'm running, you know, where could be some good spots to try and focus on if I'm, you know, at 30k, where would be a good spot to be kind of thing. So just planning that route out, but I don't want to get too stuck into it because, you know, they might come back and say it's happening here or there or somewhere else. Um, the other thing that they might do is they might, they might extend it out, meaning if you're doing a virtual run, they might say you've got over a week to do it. If they do that, <coughs> I am very tempted to delay my marathon by one week because the New York Marathon is actually going to be happening the week afterwards. And it's a virtual run. So I could literally do the New York Marathon, the Melbourne Marathon in one day and get two marathons <laughs> and get two medals. Anyway, that's just, that would be a real nice to have. That would be pretty sweet. Um, but you know, let's, let's see, let's, let's not <laughs> count out chickens before they've hatched. So there's maybe some silver linings around this. All right, I'm gonna go have some breakfast. We'll be talking a bit about um, some of the nutrition tomorrow, but also over the coming weeks as well. There's been a few questions in this and I really wanna to get to it. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm very positive, very happy. Today is an absolutely ripper of a day. It's a pity that we only have an hour locked in. I mean, an hour of outside time, but eh, do what we can. Thanks for being here and uh, make sure you check down into the timestamps. Have a look around. There's a buffet of information, something for everyone, something here that hopefully you will take from whether you're a runner or not. If you are enjoying this, make sure you do hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And uh, if you think there's something here that someone else should learn or, or hear, give them a link. Share this video. I would really greatly appreciate it. Um, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. I will see you when I'm looking at you. Ciao. Good morning and welcome to run number 65 for the Marathon Training Plan 2020. And today we are doing the long run. Yes, we are doing 23.5 kilometers at a average pace of, well, the planned average pace of 6.49, somewhere there. Hopefully we'll be doing it a bit better than that. Um, <laughs> feeling, feeling interesting. It's, it's super windy at the moment, so um, I do apologize if we get some gusts of wind that come through and just make all this sound a bit bad. Anyway, so the plan is for today. We're going to be doing this as normal pace like I have been over the last couple of weeks. And then for the final 7 to 8k, what I would like to do is do it at marathon pace. Now, when I mean marathon pace, is averaging 6.16. So if that means I need to go a bit faster than 6.16, well that's fine as well, but I want to average that across. That, that final 7, 8k. So that is that is the strategy today. That is the intent today. That is the plan today. Overall, I probably am expecting to come in around a 6.30 pace. It's between 6.20 and 6.30 overall. If I can do a bit better, I might give it a go. Um, a little sore. Yesterday did a bit of a cross, cross training workout, not by plan. We were working out in the garden and ended up just doing lots of moving and grooving. And you know, when you don't use those muscles, in certain ways for a long time while well, you feel things but just on a good stretch and mobility exercises so should be okay good news is you'll probably notice that you're a bit further away my new GoPro stand came through yesterday it was delivered so mm. all right just to remind everyone, I'm using my Tailwind just to fuel and hydrate and keep the nutrition going through this run. I've already had a couple of swigs. We'll do some more each 5K. I've got some snakes as well. Yes, the lollies, that will just give me an extra boost as well. I've got a new book that I'm listening to uh, and it is the E-Myth Revisited, I believe it is. And uh, haven't listened to it before. It's on, been on my list for a very long time. So gonna check that bad boy out. And then the other thing is, these are the shoes I'm wearing today. So just my normal, normal pair. Um, they're not as dirty anymore. I've given them a good, good wash and a good clean. So it should be a lot better. All right, well, let's get this party started. Let's get it going. I am keen for this. We are gonna get it done one step at a time. And uh, I can't believe this is run 65. Jeepers. It's uh, basically about four weeks out now. Scary stuff. It's, uh, yeah, it's, 
Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's get out. Let's get it done. Let's go. Just had my first uh, <laughs> my first toilet break on all these runs. Just had to go for a quick wee. <laughs> all right. <sighs> Six and a half K. Just done a loop. Tailwind, keep going. Okay. First a snake. Let's do it. There it is. Cheeky boy. All right. It's nearly time for some music. Let's go. Right, things are getting a bit sore. Let's get into it though. I'll probably put the music on at around 16k and then it's time to do marathon pace. I think I'm going pretty strong anyway. But I think I might have been running a bit too fast for the for the first 15k. I was comfortable, but uh, let's see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's uh, get back in the zone and bring it home. All right, just turn the music on. Let's pump it. Let's do it, come on. Marathon pace, baby. It's crazy. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Now, one of the strategies that I talked about last time was whew, talking to myself in third person. You know, really amping myself up, beefing myself up. And one of those strategies, as I said, was talking to myself in third person but also envisioning race day conditions. And what I mean by that is picturing when I see people on the side as if I'm giving high fives, giving a point out to someone, giving a cheer, whatever it is. Because those things are the things that are gonna be there on the day. And if I can't envision them without them being here, I'm not gonna do very good on, on race day. So what I do, sometimes I protect around the corner. Someone I know, I give them a point, I give them a high five, I give them a ooh, give them a fist bump, whatever it is, something to keep me going. And that's how you push through. The other thing that I used to boost my uh, positive emotions, which usually make me real sad, but they're tears of joy, is playing my uh, playing my favourite song, which I usually always plan to come on at the end of a of a race. Which I mean, I'm only 18k in, so I'm nowhere near it, but it just gives you those emotions, those positive vibes, and that uh, that performance boost you need. Huh. I'll put it up on screen what the song is. I can't play it just because of uh, copyright. The other beauty or reality of training for a marathon is you go from highs to lows like that, just bam. 
And that's when this bad boy comes in, gives yourself a wake up call and say, come on, mate. You just gotta hustle through, push through, ups and downs, swings and roundabouts, left and right. You shuffle to the end. out to all you guys. We just hit another half marathon. It's at five or six back to back in six weeks. Come on. Don't know if you can see that, but I've got goosebumps just because I'm excited. So good. Bring it home. Come on. Come on. Two and a bit. Two and a bit. As I keep saying, there's highs and lows. I'm at a low point. Got 1k to go. Just need to push a little bit further. That's the reality of it. I'm still on pace. I'm still smashing it. And it's all part of the plan. So if you plan for a little bit more, you can walk a little bit further. But that's not what I'm relying on. Just don't want to overdo it either. Let's do it, baby. 900 meters. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. gets old. Uh, absolutely smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Once again, I am feeling emotions of joy. Not tearing up as much, but there was definitely a, a hint of it because this deserves celebration. Oh, happiness comes in different different packages I tell you that for sure what I love about this run is it's only 23.5 yes only <laughs> and for some that's that's a lot and that's okay but what the beauty is I I practiced my my strategy I did the final 7 8k on pace of marathon and what I mean on pace I blew it and I haven't looked at it yet but I've definitely done better than a 6.16 a average for the final 7.8k and what's beautiful is <laughs> Garmin is going to tell me that overall I'm telling you it's going to be like a 6.18 or a 6.19 overall and what's amazing is I wasn't running at the whole way I started off slow I built back up the speed added some buffers. I had to walk a few times. I even took a wee. I was breaking every five minutes for a drink. This is what it's about. The plan's coming together. Strategy, it's, it's playing off now. I need to be careful. I don't wanna, I don't wanna overdo it here. But I am, it's just good to know that some of the strategies that I'm practicing and putting into play and planning to use are, are paying off. <sighs> This is what it's about. Um, wow. I hope this has given you guys a bit of a reality of some of the different things I've been doing to, to keep that pace happening, to keep that motivation. And I, I shared a bit of it talking to myself, some of the you know, chest pumping and, and different stuff, right? And we all have different ways that we can use mechanisms to 
to boost our mentality, to boost our performance, to boost our uh, ability to just go, 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 go. And that doesn't mean it's not gonna be, there's not gonna be lows along the way. I, I filmed that as well, where I was walking and just needed to take a second to breathe. And that's okay. Wow, just wow. All right, let's, uh, let's go get into these stats. Let's have a look the big reveal and then a boy oh boy I've got a couple of things I want to chat about some Q&A come on let's have a look there we go 23.5 kilometers it was pretty good it was pretty good really wasn't as bad 619 pace that's incredible 228 154 heart rate, Jesus. Just have a look at this. Yeah, you can really see at the end there, I've, I've stepped it up. Nice, oh, this is good. Heart rate as well. Yeah, it make, made sense that I was crawling out and elevation, well, who cares. Let's jump on over to the Garmin. The Garmin's where the magic is. <sighs> yep, same result, of course. 619, Whew. Jesus. This is incredible stuff. Jump straight on over. Look at that. Now, must be around... Yeah, okay. So you can see where there's a, a dip. I'll have to show you on screen. And then all of a sudden I just jump up that final quarter. Once again, absolutely smashing. And I'll have to put up on screen of what the actual average was. But you can see the cadence picks up there. You can see... Wow, that's um, that's in. Oh, getting eaten alive. Sorry, just give me a second. Oh, you can see the cadence picks up. Um, that's very interesting. Apparently, uh, I didn't know this, but Garmin actually calculates what your time would be when you didn't have any slowdowns. Like, if, so when I've stopped and gone for a week, um, it's calculated what it would have been if I hadn't stopped and done that. So it's saying 610, which is interesting because that means that I'm sitting in the ballpark area of where I need to be for this marathon. Now, this is only 23 and a half K. Next week, I have a 30 K. So that's when things will get a little bit more interesting and we'll see. But the thing I wanted to kind of show you guys was after today, I've hit 250 kilometers and I'll have to show you the actual screenshot for the post. But this is, this is incredible. This is. This is amazing. This is the most distance I've done in a single month. It's just incredible. I'm just, oh, I'm, I'm so happy with my ability to keep on showing up and getting this done. And look at my performance in terms of fitness. I'm now sitting higher than I was a year ago in terms of my marathon is where I peaked, which is this dot just here somewhere, which is sitting at 67, I think it is. So we are doing some magic here. Right, that is that. It's it is some great stuff. I'm so wow. This is great. It's been a, it's been a pretty good week. Um, been a great Sunday run, I tell you. Long run stuff. Now I want to jump into. Um, I've kind of got a bit of a blur here of things I wanted to cover for this for this session, and just give me a moment to just pull stuff together. I guess one thing I wanted to make clear was last week I asked about should I be doing a longer run than my 30k in this plan and I still have a little bit of time to decide this but I've, I got a good mix of different you know suggestions some saying stick to the plan some saying I would do a bit further some of them you know a bunch of different opinions and it's really great to see what everyone's got to say I think when I think about it I think when I think about it, um, is last year I was I was averaging maybe yeah. maybe three to four runs a week Right, and I think my max, my max month was 160 kilometers, maybe 180. And it would be good to probably compare all this, but, and my max distance I did was, I did a 36, but I also did a 34 as well, or a 32 maybe. So I did more distance stuff. I didn't do as much speed. Now in this round, I'm doing more volume, right? I'm doing five runs a week and I've been solid. I've just peaked at my biggest month of 200. And I'm doing more speed work. So I'm getting more volume, which means 
I'm getting more time on the feet and I'm actually working on that speed stuff when the whole purpose of this marathon is not just to finish but to finish with a new time so I think I'm going to stick to the plan I think it just makes sense I really do then again I think the only thing that I'm a bit nervous about is that the plan the Nike app for whatever reason has not adapted it has not changed and has not done anything it said it was going to do so that's why I'm a little nervous but I think things that I've done today and running by feel and running by you know what I think is working and not overdoing it this is where it's key and I've pushed a little bit further and my main man Jason from Running Alive he's got a great video about this about pushing harder and going out hard and when to do it and how to do it and that's probably my one video recommendation for this week there's so many videos I've been watching and there's so many people I want to spend some time and just share and, and give them credit um, I once again I, I, I just I've been <laughs> I apologize I'm not gonna be able to do it this week again but one video which I think has stood out to me has been um, from running alive Jason he's he's done some really great stuff there in terms of helping us really understand when we should be pushing a little harder and when we shouldn't and uh, go check that out go check it out so we've got a couple of questions for this week the first one I want to address is um, Vince from prior week he asked about my my new Garmin the 935 and how the heart rate monitor is happening with that now to be honest Vince I found that it's um it has been a bit better it's more accurate like I'm seeing it's telling a better story along how I'm feeling as well of in the past I felt like the individual runs were maybe they were a bit spontaneous however I've got a screenshot here that you can see that I got the watch on August the 16th which is highlighted and you can see the, the prior two weeks before that and the prior two weeks after it so the prior two weeks after it is obviously when I've had the new one and the two weeks before it is obviously when I was using the old one it's pretty consistent um, in terms of my average heart rate across the across the board so there's been nothing too sporadic if anything I'm averaging a lower heart rate with this heart rate monitor so yeah that's probably really the only analysis I can do I'm, I'm enjoying it I haven't seen anything too weird yet I'm actually feel like it's it's reacting to how I'm feeling so I hope that answers it for you mate and I do apologize if I miss anyone if, if I miss someone please come back to me and say I didn't ask I mean I didn't answer it or you know you missed it or whatever because sometimes I I do put a sync in my on my phone and I sometimes forget to copy it so do do let me know so there was one from um, uh, Yumas, and I apologize if I said that wrong, mate. Uh, so he said, not sure if I've already covered this already, but could I share what has worked for me in terms of nutrition, um, like gels, electrolytes, or pre-run, post-run meals? Thank you. This is a good question, mate. Really good question. And I'm going to answer it in a couple of different ways. So in terms of pre-run, if I'm running greater than 15 kilometers and it's in a training plan I'm usually having a cup of tea and um, a piece of toast with honey if it's less than 15 kilometers I'm probably just having a cup of tea in the run itself um, once again if it's greater than if it's greater than 20k 15 probably greater than 15k in a training plan I'm probably having um, tailwind this is probably actually more when it's greater than 20k to be honest when it's greater than <coughs> 20k I'm having tailwind and I'm drinking a swig of that every five kilometers and I am when I say swig just kind of thing and I'm having a snake a lolly snake yes uh, <laughs> I'm basically having one of those every five kilometers from 10 kilometers onwards um, just to keep me boosted now if it was a, if it was a 27k I might not have my first snake until 15k so I stretch it out a bit further because it really does depend on the the level of the run because I want to make sure I'm stocking up so that I'm still having enough energy later so I have to I have to do plan accordingly um, but with the tailwind yeah having a swig every every five kilometers and of course having plenty of water along the way um, and that will be my plan in the marathon is probably every 5k making sure I'm you know getting in the right nutrition of tailwind and uh electrolytes in that case of tailwind and water and snakes i don't think i'm going to be using gels this year um was thinking about it haven't trained with them and i seem to be doing all right without them 
Now, depending on race day, if I'm doing it at the event, I'll just be following the um, drink stations. And if I'm doing it in my own, you know, environment, well, I'll, I'll basically just be doing loops of 5K anyway. So that's that's probably that. And then post run, um, now if I'm, usually any run that I do, I'm usually just having a smoothie afterwards um, and a blueberry smoothie and I can put the, the, <coughs> the, uh, the details inside that and you know the ingredients and whatnot but usually if it's a run longer than 15k or 10k depending if I've done a hard run but usually a longer run I'll make sure I have some um, protein powder afterwards just for recovery and that's with Inca Organics um, they're an Australian brand I do apologize about this win guys really do so that's what I have and then I probably have two pieces of raisin toast um, some days it could be a bit different but this is what I'm sticking to at the moment and is working quite well on the days off um, what I'm having is uh, usually just having porridge um, and throughout the week I'll have to I might do this one next week actually just talk about what I'm having in, on a day in a life on a weekly basis for my training um, but I'm pretty consistent and I'll take you guys through that next week in a more detailed view so I hope I hope that answers your question for now mate um, if you have any follow-ups just checking yeah I think I think this answers it let me know and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer anything else, bud. All right, then we've got a question from Adrian and Nico. Hey, thanks guys. Um, so we, we, what is the setup? What is it like to set up your camera and then run past it and then have to go back? You're actually running. Yeah, this is true. So, you know, one thing that I was very clear about my training plan is that I'm not stopping and starting my watch. I'm keeping, keeping moving and grooving. So if it means I want to get a shot, I, I run up, put the camera down, keep running and then run back past it. It's, it's not too bad if anything sometimes there'll be moments where i will refuse to do it there'll be moments where i refuse to if i'm in a trance and i'm just gliding and sometimes i'll be like no no, no i don't want to put down the thing because i don't want to lose that momentum whereas other times sometimes if i'm feeling it it's a good 30 second way to just kind of re you know re get some sense of gladness or into a routine and just refresh the mindset so yeah it's not too bad but yeah usually if I wasn't stopping on a 5k loop around here, I would end up doing about probably 510, 510 kilometers, 5.1 kilometers. Whereas doing all the stops and starts, I'd probably end up doing, it probably adds about 100, 150 meters to be honest. Depends how many shots I'm doing as well. So that, that's a good question. Thanks for that. Now the next one is from Noah, my man. Um, how long does it take to upload your videos? Just curious because my videos typically get shorter and they take quite a lot of time. Also nice time, but thanks man. Really appreciate that. Um, so look to be honest this all comes down to internet right I mean my speed isn't anything fancy I think I get about 15 megabits per second it's it's, it's pretty bad to be honest um, and this video size for this one hour video is around 5 gig and it probably takes between two to three hours to upload depends if other things are happening if other people are using the internet well then yeah two probably take five hours but um, usually about a gig an hour I usually end up doing um, yeah, and rendering time is probably about an hour and a half once it's once I've pressed render. Um, so yeah, I could probably change all that and make it even smaller, compress it, whatever. But I, I'm yeah, I don't know that too much. So I hope that answers your question. All right, the other thing I kind of wanted to just quickly touch on was next week. Next week's going to be a beast. It is going to be a big one. Uh, we're moving into week fourteen. Jeepers, week fourteen and. What's interesting is we will start to, this is where we, we start to take the path of trending down, but peaking as well. So it's, when I, when I mean that, let me explain. So next week we are doing, we've got a speed of seven times 1,000 again, an endurance of 9K, another benchmark, um, a long run of 30K, an endurance of 7.5. So that long run, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end up doing that bad boy again out at the back here doing doing repeats like I've done today one hour of you know 9.5 kilometers and then the remainder of it so that that's going to be a beast it really will be it's a pain in the butt but if anything it's going to build my mental stability that's for sure so I uh, look that one I'm a bit nervous about but I shouldn't be after today, after last week, after the week before that, I keep showing up and I keep getting it done. So, 
I shouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah. Wow. All right, that's it from me, guys. I really do appreciate everything. Um, I haven't been able to get through a lot of the videos, but there's so many of you out there which are supporting me. So many of you which are, you know, sharing, sharing, uh, you know, my my content or giving me a shout out or giving me a comment, and I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. Uh, you know, I just want to say thank you and. You know, look, I understand that these one-hour videos aren't for everyone, but the intent here is I'm documenting over creating. Um, and I want it to be real, I want it to be raw. So if there's things you want to see a bit more, I can try to incorporate them in. But, you know, I'm not trying to over-create and spend additional time creating. I'm trying to do it in the moment, in the in the time that it's happening, because that's that's the reality of it. So, really do appreciate, I really do appreciate it. If you are new here or if you've been here quite a few times and you haven't hit that notification bell, hit it, you'll get the reminders. Hit the subscribe button as well um, and all that jazz. And I'm, and I'm gonna say it again in a minute, but really do thank you. I really do appreciate it. Time to go have a smoothie. Oh, so good. And a coffee, of course. All right. Thanks once again. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang and hustle. Ciao.